becomes a metaphor for my life. I have a place. And how that used to be the one place on earth where you didn't have to hear popular radio. <laughs> but now, the inescapable Ed Sheeran <laughs> penetrates through earbuds that are uncomfortable and add another layer of irritation to that little pervert sniffing his bed sheets. <laughs> You disgust me, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> you got lucky. Congratulations. You know, you're not a fucking oil painting. Count your blessings. <laughs> Change your bed sheets and get on with your day, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't make me hear about it for five fucking years. <laughs> My wife, whom I love, and who I presume loves me in her way, has a family tradition of pranking the dead when her grandmother, a butch lesbian who wore men's suits and brill cream, was buried. She was buried in a pink pinafore with ribbons in her hair and crimson lipstick and everyone that came up to the casket to look at her was aghast she has promised to bury me in a New York Yankees uniform and my darkest fear is that throughout the ceremony will be playing on the organ a rendition of that fucking I'm in love with your body song. <laughs> yeah, I probably have it coming, I know, I know. Play it! The worst I can do for her is clip on dreadlocks and drenching her in patchouli. <laughs> Not even close. Juicy's album! Frankie <laughs> Dog! Frankie Dog! The end his career. I do want to point out that those records have made a lot of money. <laughs> I thought you weren't in it for the money. I'm not, I'm not. I'm up in the air. I'm in a fucking airplane. Woo, woo, woo. 